Uh, is, it, is this going to be the next one? Yeah, it's going to be the next one, man. So, so how are you going to do next it? One. I think I'm going to shoot this one on iPhones. I'm going to shoot it on phones. I'm going to get 10 iPhones. <laughs> I'm going to shoot the special, and then uh, I'm going to return the iPhones. Thank you, thank you. Has anybody here uh, ever dated somebody and uh, the next morning they just stayed too long? <laughs> well, I was raised by a single mom uh, before it was popular. And uh, yeah. so my mom uh, raised me to be the man she wished she married, uh, which means uh, I'm not a player, I, uh, I'm, I'm more of a gentleman. And it's, it's awful to be that now. Sometimes I feel like Nat King Cole in a Little Wayne world, you know? <laughs> like, you know, they peeing on bitches, and I'm just like, can I get the door for you? <laughs> Got some pee on you, I think. <laughs> I don't have the capacity to look a woman in the face and go, uh, I'm done with you, beat it. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> and my friends noticed, so they came up with the plan. While I was in Chicago, they go, look, Owen, next time that girl comes over and stays too long, this is what you do. Get a picnic basket, right? Pack it, leave it by the door. So when she comes over, you show her the picnic basket, and you'd be like, hey, 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 I got a picnic to go to in the morning, so, uh... <laughs> you can't stay the night like you normally do. So now, I have no idea where the fuck you get a picnic basket from. I don't know, so I'll just try Target, because they got everything at Target, right? So me and my boy, we walk in the Target, two black guys, and they're like, can we help you? Yeah, yeah, you got picnic baskets here? <laughs> it was just a weird moment in Target history, right? They got them, they got a whole row, whole row of picnic baskets, right? And, and he goes, uh, you just missed the sale. I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't know there was a picnic basket sale, so all the cheap ones were gone. All that was left was the coup de gras. It was $179. Right, I was like, I could pay her to leave for that much. You know, just make it rain, bounce, do something with your life, you know? Thank you, you know? I'm not doing that. So my boy, he, get, he tells me, he goes, hey man, why don't you remix the idea? I go, what you talking about? He goes, hey, get a suitcase. You tell her you, you got a flight in the morning. I go, mm, genius, right? So I buy a red suitcase. How much? 19.95, right? So I get home, I'm getting ready, and, and she comes over before expected. And let's call her uh, Sheila for legal reasons, all right? <laughs> so there's a knock at the door, and I just start, I panic, I just start, I go, just a minute, I just start throwing stuff in the bag for weight, right? So I throw a phone book in there, just a bunch of dirty clothes, and I, I can only grab one sneaker. I just do one sneaker in there, and I zip it up, put it in the middle of the floor. And she comes over, and she had the overnight bag. I don't know if you've ever seen this. But women's wrists are strong as shit. Like, th <laughs> this bag had another bag in it, it, and then it had a purse inside of that. And she was like, hey, and I was like, hey. <laughs> right? And she finally sees it, she goes, what's that? And I go, showtime, right? I go, hey, I forgot to tell you. Uh, showbiz, I got a last minute gig. Uh, got an early flight in the morning, so you can't uh, stay the night like you normally do. <laughs> She goes, you know what? Good for you. You know what? I'll take you to the airport in the morning. No, 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 you ain't gotta do that. No, no, I came all this way, I insist. What time's your flight? Okay, uh, I didn't think to lie out this far. As far as my dumbass got was this move right here. Uh, early flight, right? So now, I just go, oh, ugh, uh, eight in the morning. It's eight o'clock in the morning, so oh, I'm getting tired. You should probably... Let me walk you to your car? She goes, no, you need to be there two hours in advance. So wake me up at 5.30 in the morning. Let's go to bed. She takes me to the bed. Next morning, I'm in a car being driven to O'Hare. 
5.30 in the morning with a stupid red suitcase in the back. And the only thing that's in the bag is, 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 is a phone book, dirty clothes, and one sneaker. I got no flights. We're living in terrorist times, you understand? You can't just walk around the airport with no flight and terrorist type shit in your bag. But I'm not man enough to turn her and be like, hey, 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 crazy, ah. Uh, it's really not a flight, right? I just can't stand your face after 9 a.m. So, uh, made it up, yeah, you know, we just go back home, ah, yeah. no. Gotta stay in the lot, right? So I'm thinking, okay, what can I do, what can I do? I go, okay, as soon as she drops me off, I'm gonna wait till the, her car gets out of sight, then I'll just catch a cab, go back home, cost me $50, right? So she drops me off, getting ready to go do it. She goes, oh, I forgot to tell you, I'm locked out, and it's too early to wake my roommates up. So can I stay at your spot since you not gonna be there? <laughs> now I'm stuck at O'Hare. So now I just hang out at the airport. I just do my morning routine. I get some Starbucks, it goes right through me. So now I'm in the bathroom dropping off a package, right? <laughs> What happens? Phone rings. It always rings when you're not ready, so I'm trying to get it, trying to get it, right? I just go, hello? Sheila. Hey. I made it back to your place, okay? Did you make your flight? Are you on your plane, okay? <laughs> gotta keep the lie going, right? So, <laughs> so now I gotta talk real fast before somebody flushes. So I'm like, yeah, I'm on the plane right now. Yeah, 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 I, I gotta go. I, I gotta hang up. They, they just gave me the look. They just closed the doors. I call you when I land, huh? What, how long is it? Five hours, all right, all right, take care of my place, bye, boop, hang up. I'm washing my hands, right? There's a guy next to me in a suit, businessman. He never looks at me, he just goes, was that your wife or girlfriend you told that lie to? <laughs> then he says, you know you need to turn your cell phone off, don't you? What? You just told her you're gonna be in the air for five hours. If she calls you and your phone rings once, you are fucked! <laughs> Thanks, man. And he goes, we gotta stick together. <laughs> so now I'm stuck. Chicago, O'Hare Airport. No flight, no phone, right? I panic, I don't know what to do. So I, uh... Just bought a flight out to Los Angeles, and that's how I got into showbiz. <laughs> I uh, just uh, got engaged about, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for clapping for me. Thank you. There's nobody's clapping for me. Everyone's clapping for her in that ring. Everyone loves the ring. <laughs> It's the ring, oh my God, let me see the ring. Girlfriends threw an engagement party, carried her out like, we did it, we did it. Uh, anybody wanna see the receipt? Can I get some love for the receipt? And my woman is so happy now, it's beautiful. Like every picture, she has a new pose. Every picture, the ring is in it, it's just, it's... One time I'm taking my own picture, my own personal picture. Here come the ring. <laughs> really, boo-boo, that's what we doing. It's so sparkly. <laughs> the other day we were taking a picture and I could feel the ring coming up my chest. I could feel, I feel it. So I put the receipt right next to it. <laughs> <laughs> All my married friends are giving me advice now. And it's funny, man. Like when their wife is in the room, they're like, man, congratulations, man. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, marriage. Look good on you. Look at him glowing, ain't he, baby? Got that glow, yeah, man. Welcome to it, yeah. Soon as she leaves, what the fuck are you doing, man? You were my last single friend. Shit, what are you doing? Hey, baby, just telling him how lucky he gonna be, yeah. Yeah, holy matrimony, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to it, that's right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I got a divorced friend, told him last, cause he's, he's a dick, he was. <laughs> he was like, see, you still did it, huh? Yeah, 
<laughs> Saw the ring and just left. Yeah, you spent a lot of money, huh? Whew, spent a lot of money. Not to be able to fuck nobody else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, welcome to it, man. Welcome to it. Did you get down on one knee when you proposed? Did you get down on one knee? Yeah, I got down on one knee. You know why they make you do that, don't you? Why? So you can take a good look at the last pussy you ever gonna see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> why isn't that in the wedding vows? Hey man, you, you ready for the last pussy you ever gonna see? What, huh, what kind of wedding is that? <laughs> you promise all kinds of stuff in these vows, and they're, they're beautiful things, but uh, it's like honor, cherish. But nobody cares about that stuff. You have never heard, hey man, what happened with you and Tina? She stopped cherishing me, man. <laughs> Man, fuck that non-cherishing bitch, yo. Why you bring that shit up, man? Your friends be like, I don't understand. Was, was she sleeping with somebody else? Was she, was she cheating on you? Nah, man, she was faithful, but the cherishment wasn't there. You're not hearing me, brother. I need cherishment in my shit. It's all where has your dick been? That is the bottom line. That's why I see there's a lot of young fellas here with potential. Let me tell you, uh, you need to stop sending these dick pics. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, I can see it in your eyes. You probably sent one before you came here tonight. <laughs> ah, anytime now. <laughs> they say everything you text is stored in the cloud. <laughs> Even though you, you delete it, it's gone. I don't see it. <laughs> it's in the cloud. Cloud full of dicks. <laughs> That's a stinky ass cloud right there. And I don't even know what the fuck the cloud is. I don't even know what that means, but I was raised a Christian and they, they told me when you die, you go to heaven and there's an angel there and he's gonna read off all your sins to decide if you get in the pearlies. I don't know if that's true, but I would hate to get up there and see an angel open up a laptop yeah, yeah, what's this? Welcome to the cloud, motherfucker. <laughs> like, oh, shit. <laughs> There's all your dicks just printed out right there. Uh, uh, uh. It's like, oh! <sighs> Show me the stairs. <laughs> Another reason why you should stop sending dick pics is because, fellas, you're secretly insulting the woman you send it to. Yeah. Yeah, I know you think you're doing something, but every woman in here knows deep down inside, they know that they can see a penis whenever they want. You ain't doing nothing. That's like sending Bill Gates a dollar. <laughs> you know, he's like, oh, ooh, ooh, you got me. Oh, a dollar, ooh. Warren Buffett, wow. Any woman in here, any woman in here, they know they can go outside right now. They can see a dick whenever they want. They can go outside right now and be like, you! Show me a dick. <laughs> Glad I left the house. <laughs> what street is this? This street is the shit. <laughs> you would be hanging out at the promenade every week. You'd be like, man, they was looking at dicks here last week. This is the shit. Fuck the club. I ain't got no draws on this week. I'm gonna stay ready. I know why you send them. You send them because you're hoping that she goes, bring that thing over here. But that's not what happens. She's, she's heckling your dick. She's inviting girls over. Girl, look at this shit here. She giving it a nickname. Look what Bumpy Curvy sent over here. The hell was Bumpy Curvy doing? You at home like, yeah, any minute now, no. <laughs> if you want to connect with your woman, don't text her a picture of your package. Text her a picture of something she likes, you know what I mean? You know, like a picture of purses or boots. <laughs> if you really want to get her moist, if you really want to get her, text her a picture of you listening. <laughs> Splash, oh my God. He cherishes me, ooh. <laughs> Cherishment, ooh. 
Yeah, I'm glad I don't have to do that. Plus, I, I can't send a dick pic because my 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 girl and her brother, like their name is like right next to each other in the phone. <laughs> and I was I've sent him a text by mistake. I would be fucking mortified if I was like, "Hey, baby, you get that text? I can get nothing. Fuck!" You know. <laughs> Dick pops up on his screen. <laughs> Thanksgiving to be weird. <laughs> He'd be like, you need to get Obamacare, motherfucker. You know <laughs> yeah, man. Got to stay faithful. But I'm, I'm at a good place now. I'm ready to do it because uh, I, uh, I don't have the work ethic of a cheater. You understand? I admire cheaters, man. You know how hard it is to cheat? Like, cause, cause women, uh, they talk a lot, right? You know what I mean? No matter who you are, if you want to sleep with another person, if I want to sleep with a new person, I still have to talk to her. I'm good. I still got to say, hello, how are you? I don't... And women talk a lot, man. That's their hustle. If you love them, you listen. You see what I'm saying? They talk so much, is you got to delete some of your shit <laughs> to keep up with that. They ain't saying nothing. They know you just trying to keep up. I don't know how a cheater can, I don't, I just, I can't. I'm just, no. Any guy, no matter how good looking you are, you still got to be like, hey, how you doing? What? <laughs> still in school? That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> Found out you allergic to gluten? Who isn't? Oh. <laughs> I don't, I'm good. I'm faithful by default. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it's harder now. Women aren't wearing pants anymore. They just wearing leggings and boots. Just walking the streets. You know, it's like, what happened to pants? Is the recession that bad? They're like, hey, fuck these pants. Put on these leggings. Just walk around. This one girl told me, I want you to be faithful and have a six pack. Talking about the abs. I was like, uh, you need to choose. Yeah, because I know me. I know me. If I get a six pack, I've never had a six pack. If I get a six pack, I'm fucking everybody. <laughs> you know if I had all six, I wouldn't even have a shirt on right now. It would just be this jacket and a Beyonce fan just blowing this. You'd just be looking at my abs right now. Just... You know how hard it is to maintain a six pack as a grown man? You know how hard? You know what your life is? This is your life. This is it right here. <laughs> Not right now. Yeah. That's it. You can't eat real food no more. Say goodbye. Everybody else having fun. You eat one calamari, three of them gone. It was just here. It was just here. You got to drink protein all the damn time. You got to eat teeny weeny meals every two hours. What kind of shit is that? Now I'm stressed about the time. What time is it? What time is it? <laughs> Give me three almonds, quick, three almonds. I'm losing them. No salt, no salt, just almonds. <laughs> I'm not working that hard for just one vagina, no. <laughs> Fucking all your friends, that's what's happening. They're getting poked. <laughs> Faithful men are lazy men, ladies. They're lazy. You understand that? Lazy men. I know, I know you want, you know, a Donnie six pack man, but listen, man, if you want a faithful man, give spare tire man a chance. All right? He ain't going nowhere but to the fridge for leftovers. That's as far as this one good knee could take them. <laughs> Ladies, you want a man who makes noise when he sits down. You, uh, uh. That's your Prince Charming right there. That's who you twerk for, you understand? It's a built-in alarm system, this noise, and he mad if he gotta get up. You sure I just sat down, you sure? You sure you ready? Okay. Uh, uh. 
That's who you need to get with. You want this six-pack man. Six-pack man is sneaky. You want a man who, who wheezes when he has to pick stuff up off the ground. Like, if he drops something, he got a decision to make. Like, oh, shit! <sighs> ah! How bad do I need my house keys? Shit! Fuck it, we moving! We moving! Fuck it! <laughs> Lazy men. You understand? I dated one girl, she bought me P90X. I was like, what? <laughs> if you give me P90X, I'm getting new pussy in March. That's what's happening. <laughs> you just replaced yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I understand? I'm, I'm good. Listen, I'm good at doing nothing, man. You know, for every man in here I think is good. You ever do nothing all day and enjoy yourself? Just do nothing? Like, you, you wake up and sit down. It's like, what? <laughs> you was just asleep. You're like, oh, I'm asleep. <laughs> wake up and sit down all day. And the next time you look up, you be like, it's dark already? Damn. I was here all day? Damn. I, I did nothing all day. I am good at doing nothing. Somebody called Genesis. This is a skill. And then you hear them keys on the other side of the door. Here come Busybody, here she come, right? <laughs> then you panic, like, oh shit, I better look like I did something. <laughs> you try to pick up a sock or something, you know. <laughs> she catches you mid wheeze <laughs> She come in, you're like, hey, baby. Hey, baby. You was here all day? Well, I mean, well, I was over there earlier. <laughs> And, uh, you ain't wash your ass, take out the trash, nothing. <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> From what? Uh, being faithful all day. <laughs> I ain't fuck no new bitches all day. Yeah. Been cherishing you all day, baby. Yeah. Take out the trash. I can't go out there. I might fuck somebody. <laughs> they not wearing pants. It's dangerous for me out there. <laughs> it's weird, man. Being engaged makes you like look at like your whole dating life. You know what I mean? Like in my 20s, the shit I was worried about, I'm not worried about now. It was weird. Like when I was in my 20s, I used to worry about how many, how many people did you sleep with? What's your number? I could take it. What's your number? <laughs> yeah, why not? What's your number? <laughs> right? And our women, they all got these things called uh, don't counts. <laughs> you ever heard of that? They got, that's how good they got it. They got don't counts. <laughs> you understand? Look, ladies, if my elbow brushes against your titty, uh, I count that. That counts. <laughs> that goes in my number right there. I count everything. I count my dry humps. All that shit is in my number. Women got it so good, they got don't count. You know? Mm, he don't have a job. He don't count. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> How is homeless Pete getting it in? <laughs> I don't count. Is it? <laughs> my goofy ass is counting. How do you get to be don't count, man? Where is that at? I used to hear some stupid, I, I asked dumb questions too. Like I would be like, uh, you, 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 ever, you ever try anal? <laughs> Every woman would tell me the same answer. They'd be like, I tried it once, but I didn't like it. <laughs> I'm like, who is this dude that keeps getting there before me? <laughs> I'm late again, <laughs> shit. Don't count, man. Who is this serial analyst that is killing the game? He is killing the game. Don't count, man, is everywhere. <laughs> it took me a long time to find my person, right? I remember when I first came to LA, I was 26, right? Broke as shit, right? Fresh off of, all I had was potential. That was it. <laughs> Hey, I, I could be something. That's all I had, right? And, but I still, I loved women, loved dating. But uh, when you broke, 
You can't date anybody that drinks alcohol. That's like dating two people. You understand? So I was hanging out at churches like, hey, God is good, all right. Yeah, wanna get some punch? Yeah, all right. Think it's free in the back, come on. I was dating this one girl, man. Every time I went out with her, it cost me $65 minimum. She would figure out, yeah, no, thank you. Thank you, brother, yes. I'm 26, man, that's a lot of $65, that's a light bill. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm watching her drink my lights. Like, mm, 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 mm. I'm, like uh, I'm looking at light, remembering what it looked like. Uh, uh, it's gonna be a dark month. <laughs> she would do that, man. I remember one time, it's a true story. One time she finally was like, you know what? Let me take you out. She took me out, it was dope. Took me to her place, never saw her place when I'm spending random $65. Took me to a place, had a good time, left the next morning, got a parking ticket for $65. <laughs> I would actually argue in my 20s. I, I thought I could win, you know what I mean? I, and I noticed women have this move, all the women I've dated, they, they're undefeated in arguments because they can do something uh, when they're losing, they could just walk away, right? Like, you make sense. Uh, two plus two is four. Ah, fuck I don't even want to talk about it no more. And they gone. <laughs> it's stupid math. It's stupid. Wait a minute. I'm winning. You know? And I would, I would try that. I tried that back. I tried the walk away tactic. Yeah, well, I don't want to talk about that. You know, she was like, oh, so you're going to walk away like a little bitch? <laughs> she won again. <laughs> I used to want to, I used to want to win and be heard. And then my father told me something real dope. He was like, hey man, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> just stop. That's all he said. And then he said, then he just goes, Adam and Eve, and walks away. And I go, what? <laughs> but I know what he was talking about, yo, the Adam and Eve story. Y'all remember that? That, uh, that, come on, man, it was just two people here, butt naked, in a garden and they didn't make it. <laughs> they had no pockets, nothing. Two people butt naked in a garden. They had the garden forever. That's the setup, right? And I imagine Adam, uh, you know, was probably like, hey, Eve, you like this garden? It's nice, right? Yeah. And if Eve was like some of the women I've dated, she was probably like, it's OK. It's all right. I see a few things I might change. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect, you know. It's cool. And then he's like, hey, all right, well, boo-boo, listen to me now. We just got one rule. We can have this garden forever. All we got to do is not eat any apples from that tree right there. And if Eve was like some of the women I've dated, she was probably like, that tree right there? Yeah, that tree right there. Mm. How you know? <laughs> How I know? I'm, I'm just telling you all I know. As sure as I'm naked, this is the one rule. Why are you yelling? You ain't got to be raising your voice. I'm, I don't even know what yelling is. I don't... You know what, I don't know what just happened, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go name some animals, all right? Uh, <laughs> look, while I'm gone, though, look, we got peaches, pears, plums, kumquats, please, boo-boo, don't mess with them apples. Whatever, whatever, go name your stupid animals. <laughs> <laughs> and he walked his dumb ass off, and while he was gone, what happened? Here come the snake, right? Started talking to Eve, just like a girlfriend with no man. <laughs> E. E. Bah. Girl. How you gonna let a man tell you what you can and can't eat? Don't he know you a strong, independent woman? You don't need no man telling you what to put in your throat. Kumquat, forget a kumquat. Have you some apple, girl. You want some apple, have some apple. She was like, you know what? I'm gonna have me some apple. She bit the shit out that apple. Come, Beyonce dancing in the background for no reason. <laughs> Who runs the well? We do. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Stupid Adam had no idea this was going on. He's just thinking of animal names. <laughs> Came home, couldn't wait to tell his girl about his day. Hey, boo, boo I, I killed him. I hit him with aardvark, huh? <laughs> Double A. Mm, what? 
and antelope. What? Uh, Look, I missed you. You know, let me, let me, I missed you. Let me get some of them lips. Let me get the lips. Mm-hmm. Bitch, is that apple I taste? <laughs> Who are you calling a bitch? And they had the first argument in the garden, scrapping. Then they got evicted, and that's why we got to wear clothes. See, we have a few white people here with us tonight. Uh, evicted means <laughs> you got to leave immediately. <laughs> it ain't no, whoa, 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 do you know my dad? No, you got to get the fuck out. <laughs> Go find a leaf. I did not know I was looking to be in a relationship, but I, you learn by trial and error, right? Like, cause I, I like smart girls which is, uh, <laughs> I wish I liked uh, dumb girls. I wish I could teach a girl how to read, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I like smart girls, man, and it's just, they always, you know, want to challenge you, <laughs> which is fun to a point, right? Like, I would date these equalists, not feminists, equalists, you know what I mean? Like, they read articles that other women wrote about us and then they revved up. When you come home, they're like, do you realize? It's like, oh, shit. (laughs) Nothing good ever follows, do you realize, right? Like, you never hear, do you realize? I should suck your dick more. (laughs) Yep, Oprah said do it, page 36, yeah. It's always something we did, right? This one girl was like, do you realize every dollar a man makes a woman only makes 67 cents? So what, you want 33 cents? Is that what this is? I mean, I can find. That's not what this is about. How does that make you feel? Well, I mean, I know I'm supposed to say I'm sorry, but uh, I don't feel any richer, you know, because uh, I'm using my extra money trying to fuck you. <laughs> you get it back. <laughs> You have any idea how much an apple martini costs? (laughs) Shit. (laughs) Then I got in my 30s and I was like, all right, I'm uh, I'm gonna pursue women. Because I was doing doing this lazy comedian thing where I would just be funny on stage and then only date women who chose me. Like, yeah, hey, you do, you know. But then when shit got real, I'm like, I don't give a fuck, you don't know your father, I'm out. You know, I would leave. (laughs) <laughs> I would pick damaged women so I can get out of there, you know. I, then I, I got to this place where I finally made just like a, a little bit of money on something, and instead of like buying a house, I was, uh, I was doing stupid shit. I remember one time I was feeling like really lonely out here, and I flew a girl out to see me. And uh, in the single world, we call that importing. You can razzle and dazzle them with two days in L.A. Oh, my God, you are famous. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they know me at this <laughs> Denny's. <laughs> so I met this girl, man. Uh, she hugged me. She, I was after the show. She said, oh, my God, you were so funny. And women are hugologists. Like, they know just the right amount of titty meat to put on your chest. <laughs> she just hypnotized her. Oh, yes, everything. Take it. Cause every man in here's got the shitty hug. You know the shitty hug when all the good stuff is back here. It's like, thank you, pat, pat, pat. And you'd be like, if I could just touch it with my pelvis, it'd change your mind. He's like, no, thank you, pat, pat, pat. She did the opposite. She was like, you are so funny. Scroosh. I was like, ooh, who are you? She's like, I'm visiting. Mm, mm, mm. Denny's, here we go. He goes, I'm from Virginia. I go, what? I grew up in Maryland. So we have the whole DMV. What? Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Get her number. We start talking. Y'all know how it goes. Then she goes, I miss you. I go, why don't you fly back out? She goes, mm, my money kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, young fellas, if you ever hear the sentence, my money kind of funny, that is your cue to hang up the phone. That is not your person. Do not wait 
for her money to get unfunny. Because <laughs> while you wait, the joke is on you. But I was thinking of the titty hug. I was like, ah, uh ah. -huh. <sighs> and I tried to be quiet for a little bit to see if she would, you know. I was just, and she held her ground. You know? <laughs> so I go, you know what? I don't normally do this, but uh, I get your flight. Now, I like fake gratitude. You understand what that is? Like, when I say, I get your flight, I wanted her to go, no, 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 you don't have to. Then I could go, no, 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 I insist. And she'd be like, oh my God, I can't believe it's still men like you out there. Then I'd be like, yeah, we here. You know, I wanted all that. I wanted, I wanted to dance. You understand? I wanted the whole thing. But when I go, I'll get your flight, she must not have got the script, because she just goes, cool, I like direct flights. <laughs> I don't fuck with window seats. I want an aisle seat, and I only fly Virgin America. <laughs> That's a huge red flag, right? I should have hung up, boop, the phone right there. But, mm, titty hug. <laughs> so I, was, I did it. And it was her birthday month. She was celebrating, so she wanted sushi when she landed. That was her thing, I want sushi. So now we're in a sushi restaurant. And she was a hand talker. You know what I mean by that? Like, she was talking, the, the words were coming out of her face, but her hands were doing something. So it's busy, you're like, oh, what's happening? You know, and I'm a pervert, so it was like mouth, hands, titties, mouth, hands, titties. It's a workout, right? And then when her hand hit the light, I noticed something. Uh, the five fingers are what we all have, right? Right, everybody, everybody here got five? Okay, so she had, uh, growth, uh, extra something here on both hands, right? At first, I thought it was a chopstick, right? <laughs> then I looked down, I saw she didn't even break them open yet. I was like, whoa, so she's talking, oh my God, the flight was so good, I got caught up on so many movies. I was like, oh uh, yeah, uh, bump all that. Uh, what the fuck <laughs> are those right there? Yeah, I feel this section is like, oh my God, that was rude. No, you understand. I, I was already 6.50 in <laughs> with the flight and the sushi, right? And I have a rule, after $200, you don't have to be polite. <laughs> you don't have to wait for it to come up in conversation. You actually get a what the fuck card. And I use it, I go, I like to use my what the fuck card. Pow, uh, bump all that. Uh, what the fuck are those talons growing from each of your hands? I don't remember seeing those. And she goes, oh, these, and she hit them together like steak knives. Shing, shing. <laughs> <laughs> these, shing, shing, like Wolverine and shit. She goes, I got six fingers, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Did y'all hear what I just said? She said, these, shing, shing, I got six fingers, ha, 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 ha. What do you do with that? What do you do? I, I, I got mad, yes, I got mad, but first, not, not at her, nope, got mad at me, stupid, right here, man in the mirror, right? Because I realized at that moment, I made a rookie mistake. I never shook her hand. Titty hug. <laughs> when you meet a Bible, it's like, hey, I should have been like, how are you? Nice to meet you, hold up, whoa, whoa, whoa. One, two, three, hold up. <laughs> Four, five, oh, yeah, what's this? What's this right here? Mm, I touched it. Am I good? Anybody got some Purell or some shit? I don't know. Uh, good luck to you. All right. So it was all, I deserved everything I got. I deserved it. Not mad at her for that. But where I got irritated with her about, here she is sitting here with 12 fingers, right? <laughs> Six on each hand. Just that, ha, ha, ha. Walking this earth with five finger attitude. <laughs> I like direct flights. Oh, whoa, 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 you a mutant. Who the fuck <laughs> is flying you anywhere? You should be happy if I bring you UPS ground out this bitch. I see why you don't fuck with window seats. You ain't want to scare none of the wildlife out there. So then she goes, mm, fuck you. <laughs> I was like, oh, don't you mean this? Isn't it this for you? <laughs> she could text fast as shit, though. 
She cussed me out for two Sundays. <laughs> this is what I didn't expect. My fiance is over 30. I did not expect that, because uh, I'm shallow. I thought, <laughs> I thought I'd have like a young, agreeable 20-something, you know. People are like, how'd you get that? Hey, man, showbiz, you know. <laughs> but uh, I, started, I started dating women uh, in their 20s, and then they're beautiful, but uh, they're too busy. You always want to know what's next. You know what I mean? Like, you take them on for an activity. You take them out, like, to dinner, dancing, comedy club. They're like, ooh, that was fun. What's next? I say, ooh, uh, I'm going to sit my ass down. That's what's next. <laughs> yeah. I'm tired. Ain't you tired? <laughs> you know, so I had, to, I had to go over to the 30s. I needed to date a woman who wanted to sit her ass down, too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Women in their 30s, man, you know, they been wearing heels for 30 years. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> They got enough walk for one place, that is it. And they start looking at you like, uh, did you get a good look at the outfit? Cause the flats are out, pop out, you know? Hey, that's what I needed in my life. I needed a woman who wore Spanx and was proud. Ah, that's right, yeah, Spanx are out there, man, you know? Cause I'm old school, like I'm used to being tricked by a bra. Remember them days, just a bra? You know, every man in here has been fooled by a bra, right? When you dating and you all charming, you're like, ooh, I can't wait to see these. Oh, you got me. Damn! Well played, oh! Nicely done, shit! Got me for $150 and you got $17 worth of titty. Well played, oh! Shit! Let me suck on this one good nipple. Was that other titty in the wall? What the fuck happened? Shit! Needs to be in the cloud. What's wrong with that titty? Every man in here has been tricked by Victoria's Secret. That's right. But Spanx was new to me, man. You know what I mean? First time I even heard of Spanx, I heard him before I saw him. I was fooling around with this girl, and I heard, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? She's, she's like, no, 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 those are my Spanx. I was like, is your pussy all right? Oh, damn. Why is it so violent? Every woman needs smoothing. That's what she said. Don't ever say smoothing while my dick is hard. That's, that's awkward. But now my lady, now it's, I'm grown now, it's fun, man. We have so much fun, like I help her get into her Spanx. It's fun for me, I feel like a magician's assistant. I take a bow after her. Yeah, man, dating a woman over 30 is fun. It's a, it's a, it's a yin and a yang, though. You know what I mean by that? Like, if you find a single woman over 30, the good part is she's lived life a little bit, right? She's got great stories. Like she'll say shit like, Danny locked me in the closet. You be like, what? <laughs> Yo, fuck Breaking Bad. What's the locked in the closet story? Where, where was you at? <laughs> you know, and they, that princess dream has kind of been beat out of them. They not, you know. They're not so hell-bent on it, you know what I mean? They're just looking for a person. It's fun. But there's also a yang. The yang part is if you uh, find a single woman over 30, uh, you must know this, that she has been lied to before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she's not about to let that shit happen again. Yeah, see, you are the enemy. <laughs> She's not gonna believe shit you say. You might be dealing with the most suspicious woman on the planet. It's gonna be like you on Law and Order, you know what I mean? Like every time you talk, you're gonna be waiting to hear that boom, boom at the end of your statement. So. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it's gonna be like you living through a Mary J. Blige record. Ugh, not enough black people here to get that <laughs> reference. Y'all with me? All right, yeah, all right, y'all with me? Who do y'all know, Adele? It's like an Adele record, all right? Yeah. Yeah. It's 
Except it's, it's different pain, though. Like, Adele just had big girl issues, you know what I mean? Mary used to get kicked in the face. I don't know how you equate pain, but a boot to the face trumps the Krispy Kreme light not being on. But, you know what I mean? It's a good record. If you've never seen Mary J. Blige, yo, you gotta go. You gotta go see MJB live. It's amazing. It's just her on stage with these boots, and she takes it over, right? And when she gets to the My Life album, it's a lot of pain on that record. She talks about every song before she sings it. And it's like cathartic for all the women there. She's like, ladies! They're like, <sighs> You haven't been hitting the back of the head with a crutch? They're like, yes, I have! What the fuck? Whoa, whoa. So, and she keeps going. She's like, ooh, oh. Oh, this one is for all the ladies who ever got kicked down a flight of stairs on Christmas Eve. That's me! What the fuck? And she yells out stats. She's like, every seven seconds, a woman gets hit. No more! Mm -mm -mm. Every seven seconds. You can see all the dudes like, hey man, you gotta use the bathroom? I gotta use the bathroom. This, is, this shit is too much. As you walking out, yeah, every seven seconds, you know. And I'm an asshole, like, I feel for that woman, but I'm thinking every seven seconds? Ooh, that means every six seconds, that woman forgets to duck. <laughs> every five seconds, that woman refuses to shut the fuck up. <laughs> every four seconds, some man is like, bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Every three seconds, that woman's like, you know what you did. <laughs> every two seconds, that man's like, what the fuck did I do? <laughs> and every one second, that woman is somewhere like, oh, we need to talk. <laughs> Here's the thing that my um, fiance wants to do, which is, Interesting. She uh, she wants to be my my best friend. Is that is that normal? <laughs> like she's like, uh, am I your best friend? <laughs> you my best friend. <laughs> we best friends. <laughs> I'm like, baby, I, I love I love you, but I'm. I don't say best friend anymore. See what I look like, this, this is my best friend. Can you come out and play? <laughs> Hurry up before the street lights come on. I'm a grown man, I pay taxes. I don't, I don't say best friend, you know? You say, but that's, that's what you say. That's, that's what you, you, know, you say it at toasts and you say it at speeches and, 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 and people they marry their best friend. I'm, I'm your best friend, right? <laughs> And I'm like, no, I, I'm marrying my wife. That Trump's best friend, that's better than best friend. Wife wins, right? You, you ever see the wedding when they line us up? It's the spot back here for the best man. In the front is the wife. She's in front of all that shit. It's like, you, you wanna be both? You can't, you can't hand the ring to yourself. Like, I do me, yes. <laughs> I'm hitting her with all this logic. She's like, no, 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 that's, no, that's not. She's sending me articles. I'm like, what's this? Kim Kardashian said Kanye West is her best friend. I go, well, where's the article where he says that shit back? <laughs> it didn't. You know what he did? He bought her a ring. That's what he did, right? It's like, baby, I bought you a ring. I don't buy my best friend's onion rings. <laughs> Why do you want a demotion? To best friend, you are winning. She said, mm, mm, mm. I bet you'll say it at my funeral. And she walks off. And I was like, oh. I actually pictured it for me. I, was, I got sad, because I would just be like, oh, my God, just, uh, just lost my favorite person, my soulmate. And uh, she would want me to say this. My best friend. And I know her, she'd pop out the casket like. <laughs> like 
Like, she won't let it go. Like, she will not let it go. This is her thing. So you know what I did? You know what I did? I started treating her like my best friend. <laughs> That's right. She want to be my best friend? Come on, buddy. I'm about to treat you like my best friend. Every Sunday, we go to brunch on me. That's what I do. Baby, I love you. This is on me. Have a great week. Not this Sunday. The bill came. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, so uh, you had. <laughs> Uh, bottomless mimosas, ooh, all right. Yeah, you had a rap, all right. Hey, buddy, so uh, how you want split cards? How you want to do this? Did you bring yours? All right, come on, come on, bestie, yeah. My wife, I would treat, best friend, we going Dutch, yeah, let's do it. Put out the card. Mm -hmm. When she calls me, when she calls me, my wife, I take the call. Or whatever. Hey, what's up, baby? You good? All right, love you. Okay, bye. Boop. Right. Best friend, call. Mm, pff, voicemail, beat it, decline. Yeah. <laughs> Say, why are you ignoring my calls? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, best friend. I was doing something, all right? You acting like my wife. Calm the fuck down. You my best friend. All my best friends know don't call me between two and four because I'm trying to get the high score, all right? One time we had plans, right? And it was, it was cute, like go hiking, nothing, nothing major. So I just made myself unavailable for two hours. I was two hours late, right? And I walked in her place like this, like, hey, if anybody asks, I was with you. <laughs> and I walked the fuck off, right? She started chasing at me. Where the hell have you been? We've been over this. I was with you! <laughs> Motherfucker, it's been two hours. Uh, tell me about it, we was together. <laughs> then she start cussing me out. Who the fuck? Da, 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 da. She kicks me out, boom. I'm outside, right? Like, fuck, I went too far. Like, fuck it, I'm keep going. I called her up. And I could hear her still just prowling. Who the hell? She answered the phone. Hello? I was like, Hey, best friend, do me a favor. Tell my wife I was with you the whole time. <laughs> she is tripping. <laughs> this is my favorite one. Uh, sometimes I, I, I call her late at night, right? Because we haven't moved in together yet, so let's call her late at night. And it's like, say, hello. Yeah, what you doing? <laughs> Sleep. Yo, you need to come down here. There's some hoes out here tonight. Oh! You need to come look at these hoes. Shit! Nothing but leggings and boots. Come on, bestie. Don't leave me hanging. Let's look at these hoes. Hey, hey, hey. Don't tell my wife. I dated this one girl before I met my fiance. I, Cause you, I had to, I had to get good at women in their thirties. I dated this one girl, man. She had so many trust issues. It was, it was raining outside, right? I came in the house wet from the rain. <laughs> she like, mm, why are you wet? <laughs> it's raining outside. Just checking, just checking. Who lied to you about the weather before? <laughs> Who tricked you about outside? It's just outside. Like, what, she think I had a water hose or something out front? Like, I'm gonna get this bitch with this. She ain't, she ain't gonna see this coming. Wait till I get my snow machine next week. <laughs> Bow, hit her with a snowball. One time I had to go to New York. I had a gig in New York. I was like, hey, baby, I gotta, I gotta fly to New York. Call me when you get there. This was my first check-in. <laughs> Every man remembers his first check-in, right? I was like, hey, baby, I'm in New York. You know? And I was in this weird area with all the other husbands, and they were like, hey, we made it, I'm safe. We made it, I'm safe. I was like, ugh. <laughs> Is that my future? Oh. Then my girl said something to me I never heard before in my life. She goes, you in New York? I was like, yeah. Take a picture with the paper. <laughs> what? Find a newspaper, 
take a picture with it, text it to me. Isn't that what they do with kidnap victims? <laughs> like, I have never heard no shit like that in my life. So I asked the married dudes, hey, yo, what should I do? They were like, you better find the fucking paper. Like, <laughs> we became a team, you know? <laughs> I held the paper. They took my camera phone, told me how to stand. Then I texted to her. I called her up like it was a dick pic. Like, hey, yo, <laughs> you get that paper? <laughs> she cussed me out. The New York Times? You think you fucking with a dummy? You sent me the New York <laughs> Times? Oh, it's New York. That's the paper. Stupid, I can get a New York Times at any Starbucks down the street for my fucking house in L.A. I'm like, well, okay, well, what you want? If you really in New York, I want the Daily News. Mary dude was like, that bitch know her periodicals. <laughs> so then I had to go back in the airport, stand in line, buy a plane ticket to New York. <laughs> Yo, thank you so much, y'all. Owen Smith. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, I bought several iPhones from the Apple Store, and uh, now I am going to try to return them. So, uh, you wish me luck, man. Wish me luck. I got my excuse ready and everything. All right. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, I need to return some uh, phones. Okay. Uh, me and my business partner got our wires crossed, and so I bought 10 phones, and I didn't need to. So I need to return. How many phones? Ten. They each have to be done individually, just so you know. Okay. Or there's two. Just so you know. It might okay. be a little extra while. All right. Is that you, bud? That is me. Perfect. I'll just email you the receipt, so we'll have like... <laughs> 40 <laughs> receipts. Right. Right. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Success. Yeah, they took it all back. Woo-wee! me.